two cups of infused tea down. Let's see what we can make. Today I'm gonna show you how to make one of my favorite breakfast sandwiches. First up, you're gonna need a croissant. Croissants automatically level up any sandwich. Remember that. You're gonna need some ham, some eggs, some Swiss cheese, and today I think I'm gonna try it with some Kewpie mayo. Why not, you know? Live life on the edge, guys. Now listen, there's a twist with what we're making. Do you see this? Do you know what this is? It's an infused oil. Obviously, after you drink an infused tea, the smartest thing to do is ingest an infused meal afterwards. So let's get to it. Okay, so boom, go ahead and heat up your pan. I think the smartest thing to do would be to get everything prepped right here. Cut your bread and just put it to the side for right now. Look at that croissant. Ah! Just smell it. Oh my gosh. It smells so flipping good. Okay, okay, let's get some ham out. I personally like a good amount of ham, you know? No specific amount of slices, just until the weight feels proper, you know? I like a good heavy hand of meat. Pause. I think that's pretty solid. Next we put some cheese. I think the pan is probably hot and ready, honestly. How much do you think I should put? Don't go overboard, Jezebel, just put enough, you know? I think that's good. <laughs> okay, boom. Spread it out. Perfect. Before we drop the egg in, I'm thinking we should add something else to this. Let's do a soup too. I've got this soup. I think we should definitely pair it with a soup. Why not? This is a butternut squash soup. I've never had that before. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's just dump it all in. Yeah, buddy. She's thick. Okay, boom. All right, let's hurry up and put this egg in the pan, buddy. Boom, eggs in the pan, here we go. All right, boom. Oh, no! Oh my gosh, is this dangerous? I think we're fine. Ah! We may have dropped the egg in prematurely. Let's just add some salt and pepper. Sorry, I like a lot of pepper. Throw in your ham and cheese and cover it. Let it get all melty. That was so crazy. I felt like such a chef doing that just now. I also bought stuff to make a banana split after this. I think it's ready. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to put this right here for right now and toast our croissant. Once our croissant comes off, then we'll put some cookie mayo on it. Look at how beautiful. Everything is turning out wonderfully so far. I'm so happy. All right, let's check on our toast. Ah, we gotta get it off, y'all. We gotta get it off. It's toasted perfectly, I think. Ooh, it smells so good. It's time to get to assembling. Oh my goodness. Okay, boom. Egg and cheese on top. Ka-chow. Ah! Let's get a closer look at this. Ooh. <laughs> Let's cut it open. Look how delicious. It's so fire. Our soup definitely looks ready. I'm feeling hearts today. Happy late Valentine's Day. It smells so good. Let me not make the same mistake as last time. Boom, we're plated up. What better to pair it with than an Izzy? I'm so excited. Let's just do a bite on its own first. Mm. 
Okay, now we should just try the soup on its own. <gasps> Y'all, I've never had butternut squash soup before. No way it's that good. No way, I've been missing out on this. What? What? No way. Nobody told me about this? I can't believe this. Mm -hmm. That flavor is crazy. Yeah, and like the soup. Insane for real. Just coat it in the soup. What? I can't believe that. That's the best soup I've ever had. What else am I missing out on? What don't I know about? See, it's always been difficult for me when people are like, what's your favorite food? Or like, if you could eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? I have no answers for you yet. How could I have an answer for you? There's so many flavors and things that I haven't experienced. There's fruits and vegetables out there that I'm sure I haven't tried or ever even heard of. How could I make a decision when I don't know what else is out there? I mean, I just tried Izzy's for the first time this year. I went how long without experiencing this? Wow, just look at how beautiful. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. That's on top for real. As a professional chef, sometimes we can't always be perfect. We're gonna have mishaps in the kitchen, you know? This 
with such a fire sash, guys. Hmm. I'm gonna take one more bite. Now it's time to chill for a bit before I smash that banana split I'm making. What a great day. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out. Make sure you check me out on everything. If you really enjoyed the vibes, make sure you check me out on Kick and Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I do a live stream smoke sesh. It's super fire, come hang out. Make sure you like this video, comment down below, let me know how you felt about it, and let me know what you wanna see next. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I love you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Bye!